Hi, welcome to World of Maths. Today my voice sounds a little husky. Please bear with it. You know what's the problem? I was being a bad woman. Oh, I had too much wine. Festive mood. They say that wine is bad. I don't know, but some say wine reduces cholesterol. But I'm not telling you, my dear, to take wine. Be good. All right? Take in moderation when you're an adult. But is this the festivity and you want to socialize with people? All right? And so you just take a glass. I took a glass. See what it's like? Huh? See? Alcohol is bad for you. But meds is good. <laughs> All right? So we're going to look. I hope you've done your practice one. And let's look at this frequency distribution on statistics. Look at that, these related topics. And a very quick re uh, recall. Remember the Cobra. All right? Cumulative frequency, frequency polygon. All right? What else can you think about? Histogram. Yeah. Bar charts. Yeah. Mean, mode, median. Ah. All these things, all right, are familiar terms in statistics. So in this practice drill, you're given that in a board game, 50 players had their scores recorded in the table below, and the highest possible score was nine points. All right, there are many kind of board games that you will be playing, Monopoly, whatever board games there are, but this unique board game at these points. And let's look at the frequency, a quick look, my dear, when you add them up, 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus 10, they sum up to 50. Do it mentally. Do you see that? Great. So that's the score. For each score, that's what you get. But when they say that the highest possible score is 9 points, what does it mean? It means from after 7, that means 8 and 9, you get 10 people scoring in that score. Okay? So now they want you to draw a histogram. What else? A frequency polygon. And then they want you to state the median and the mode. And if they want to find the mean, it's not a hassle. So very quick do if you have done it. Let's check it out if you are right. Okay, this number 50 is the total frequency and these are the scores. Now, if they want us to draw a histogram, we want to look at the scores and we need to have the X and the Y, the X and the Y axis. The Y axis always represents the frequency, right? So the frequency here is actually the number the frequency, the number of people scoring that game, C, Y. Please take note of that. And this is the scores. And it's from 1, let's look at it, 1, 2, 3, oh, we need to go to 10. Am I having enough space? 4, I wouldn't have enough space. So I'm going to make it smaller. All right, let's look at it. Oops, my yellow chalk. I'm going to say here is one, two, three, and the four is here. Five, let me get it a bit closer. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? And am I getting it right here? Look at it. What did the scores go up to? To nine. Ten was just the number, the frequency. So this should not have been in because beyond nine, there was no score. Now from here, if you look at the highest score, and this is the table, the look at the size here is one unit. Here's two units. So if you break it up to eight and nine, it's five and five. So if you look at it, this is actually five, five. And the highest point here is an 8, and the lowest point is a 4. So let's get that right. 1, 2, or oh, we want to go right up to 8. So this does not look so good. 
2, if I put it this way, I'm just going to make it this way, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Let's look at that. Right? Now, you can put it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's not a problem. Well, this would be one, a half of it. And in your case, you would be far more accurate than I am. As I said, this is not a calibrated board. Now, we were going to draw, like for score one, it's five of them. So we take a halfway point from here, a halfway point, all right? And five is about there. So you draw your histogram, and that's going to be the score of five for score one. For score two, it is four. So it's from here to here, the score two is a four. So this is for score two. For score three, it's another four. So get it done again, that's four. For score four, it's eight. So you look at four, the middle point, go right up there to eight. So reach out all the way right up here to eight, go up, eight, and that's your eight. And for score five, it's a seven. A seven is a midway point. So look at that again. You say, hey you, seven. And for score seven, if for, that's for score five. If you look at six, it is six. So you said six, all right, you're six here. So we said that's six. Okay, mid to mid point. And for score seven is also six. Look at that. Well, you can see that my accuracy is not very good. Forgive me, please. Now, if you look at this part between seven, when we say nine, seven is already included. I don't put an equal sign there. It's more than seven. That means it's eight and nine. There are ten of them here. So it's five and five. So what you've got to do is you look at 5 and you set right up from 8 to 9 and then you look at this again halfway, all right, from 8 score and this is a 9 score and that's 5. Now this is not an ideal histogram, all right, there's a lot of imperfections in drawing, but I'm just doing an example, a rough one, to show you how this a histogram should look like. So when you have a score of one, because they didn't give you a range. So that's where you may have a problem. Hey, how do I draw a histogram? When you look at one, it's between half to one and a half. When you look at two, it's between one and a half to two and a half. That's how you look at drawing, interpreting this information in the form of a histogram. Got it? Now. So you've got this colorful chart here, a histogram representing every information. And if you look at from eight to eight and nine, the highest score, this is the biggest from eight, seven and a half to eight and a half, eight and a half to nine and a half. Great. Now from there, what do you want to do? The next stage, this is A. In B, you need to draw a frequency polygon. So what is a frequency polygon? You take the midpoints and then you look A, midpoint, midpoint, midpoint. The midpoint, because this is both a six, midpoint is here, here is that. And then, now the problem here is between the half, the zero to half. As I said, one, when we look at one, you're taking it half to one and a half. Now this gap is from zero to half. Look at one, the in between, the midpoint of that. Join them all up. This is nine and a half, and then this is nine and a half. You look at this is 10, you do nine and three quarter. The half spacing divided into two, you get a quarter. So now from there we join them up and we've got a polygon, a frequency polygon. Look at that, my dear. Ah, join them all the way, and you've got this shape. Superimpose that, superimpose that on the histogram. Get it? All right. Now, next part of it, they ask you to state the median. The median 
is the middle score and we've got 50 players and the middle score is the 25th person where is the 25th person gonna be let me bring you back to this table when we add these two this is 9 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 8 21 21 right and so 21 plus 7 you look at the 25th person is lying here in this range so the 25th player has got the score point of a 5 so the median is 5 all right median is the score the score is 5 points and how about the mode the mode is the most common one you look at the tallest building, like I said, take it as building structures, and the tallest is this four pointer. Look at that. Hey, so this four pointer, this is where the mode is most common. All right? So the mode will be the mode is four. So generally, most of them are scoring four points. You got it in this board game though the median is five but if I asked you how to find a mean what does mean means average look at this median middle d, d, boat oh common and the and the mean will be the average score well they did not ask you but I just want to share with you you add the total score the frequency multiplied by each score so if this is the frequency multiplied by the score sum them all up with this remember the formula sum up each of them and divide by the total frequency all right well i just heard uh, mm, my my handphone kuma here yeah. what are you doing you got a handphone message oh my god i better off it so do i've got to off my handphone that's not right sorry about that okay now so look at that that gives you the mean get the sum of the frequency add them up divide by total frequency in other words is five times one plus two times four plus three times four plus four times eight plus five times seven plus six times six plus seven times six plus now here you've got a range the range here is seven to nine that means you take the midpoint which is eight eight times ten all right add them all up and you divide it and you divide it by um you divide it by 50 and that would give you the mean so i hope you've got a quick revision of how a frequency uh, frequency polygon is drawn a histogram and if you got it right hooray well done and we'll get to the next sound all right move on my dear